one more in the corner. Okay. Then I still got these screw heads that are still visible and I'm going to use these for it. You should be able just to press them in but just to make sure I'll just put a little bit of uh, spray glue on them. Okay, and to finish it up, I got one sliding door here and one sliding door there. I've put a little bit of wax, furniture wax, in these grooves and they, they slide like crazy. So what my plans were is to use this uh, cabinet as a kitchen cabinet, put some plates in it, some larger plates and some bowls here. Got some room for some herbs and either some cups, but very likely some mugs. So now it's coming together a bit. Got my kitchen faucet, countertop, got my charging station here, as well as my induction cook cup under here, my kitchen cabinet, my fan. Looks good. Got storage for my Berkey. So we're getting there. And this is another one of my creations that I just started with. I knew already, of course, uh, that I needed a, uh, a screening so I can lower my windows uh, without the insects coming in. So I used uh, some uh, chalk to point out where all the necessary lines are coming. So just before I go on my next trip, I was able to finish a screen that fits over my door. So I can turn the window down and have some extra ventilation. So what I did is uh, just use some ordinary screening material, uh, some bias tape for the edges, and some strong uh, magnets. What I have is one screen. I did it all by hand, but so it was a lot of work. But I'm quite satisfied with it. And you can see here, this is at one of the corners. Uh, in this case, I got a magnet here on two sides. Here, there's one here. And there's one out here. You can see they stick to each other. But... And I just attach them to this uh, bias tape, this edge tape. So what I would do is open the door, then get my screen. The screen is open here. Then just fit it over the door. You see that it fits very snugly. So I've got one of these strong magnets here, one out here, 
one there, and then I got a fourth one on the interior, also on that same strip. This is fairly loose, but that's because that's not really necessary. And if you close it, so I can open it partially, or I can even open it all the way to the bottom. Uh, but I, what I normally probably would do is just uh, leave it at, uh, at the top. So there's just a, a small area where air can come in. And then in combination with the fan in the rear of the van, you can get a, a nice uh, flow of air uh, going through the van. And this is the way it looks on the outside. You see that's all closed up. And the same thing here at the bottom. Now and taking it off is not really any work. Roll it up. this way and then it's very easy to store here put it all the way in and it's uh, almost invisible just simple but it works oh before i go please pay attention to these uh, missing children if you have any information please call the appropriate number Hi guys, this is Joey and we're building a one-of-a-kind RV. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. If you enjoyed the video, give us a like and subscribe. Or better yet, uh, leave a comment. Thanks guys. Doing a good job.